Hi guys and welcome to this vlog. Welcome to my trip to St. Louis, Missouri. If you guys have been following me for a while, I have gone for the past two years to the Physique Summit in St. Louis. It allows me eight CEUs for my personal training certifications to renew all of those. So I typically take advantage of it because it's only about four and a half hours for me to drive from Louisville to St. Louis. It's a pretty cool city. It's an easy trip for me. It's a two-day conference. My coach, Jason Theobald, will be there. He actually is presenting this year, which I'm excited to see his presentation. My opposing coach from last season, Lauren Conlon, will also be presenting. So looking forward to her presentation. She was not able to be here last year. Join me for this vlog. I have no idea what it's going to entail. I have no idea how well I'm going to do at vlogging. Since I'm solo this year, I feel like I might do a little bit better job since I'll be kind of traveling by myself. I travel by myself pretty well, I might say. I'm kind of pretty independent anyways, and it'll give me time and space to work and do everything that I need to do to catch up on my business. Enjoy the rest of this vlog, and I will see you guys in St. Louis. Good morning and welcome to my scary, bloody vampire room. <laughs> Do this, like why give us a red wall? It's just so ugly and it's scary and spooky looking in video. And I mean, I know hotels don't think about that, but <laughs> it's just freaking weird. <laughs> Good morning, it's day one of the Physique Summit. So it is Saturday. I am going to read for a bit. I'm about an hour ahead of my usual time. So I will actually woke up at like 4.30 because I'm used to waking up at 5.30, 6 o'clock at home, even on a Saturday. Uh, sometimes I just go to back to bed, sometimes I don't. But um, that's just kind of when I naturally wake up. But I force myself to sleep a little bit because I know today's gonna be a long day, but we're also gonna be sitting for a lot of time and I need to like move because I also sat in the car and my hips whew, they're not doing well so I'm gonna drink my coffee then get on uh, some cardio this morning and bring you guys along for my day if you guys have watched many of my physique summit vlogs you guys know that I do pay to be here the speakers are also paid to be here and everybody is paid to be here for the experience so I will not be filming complete lectures but I will give you guys com some really good nuggets and of course I'll give you guys some uh, of my own interpretations of maybe said nuggets when I return back to the room today I may work out today I may work out um, at either Fit City here in St. Louis or just Exist Fitness. Both of those um, are great gyms here locally, so I might just pop into a workout for the fun of it. I don't know. I don't know. We're still, we'll see where this goes. All right, kiddos, I have answered a couple emails this morning, went through some programming, and chatted up with Steve and his couple clients that are checking in today. So I'm gonna fill up my water, get my computer ready to go, and head down to the conference room downstairs. Luckily, everything is here in this hotel. So that is super, super convenient. It's easy for me to work in between <laughs> presentations as well. Lady in this room's pretty heinous, but I just have an Epta Street tank from Lululemon, my Moto leggings from Aloe, my slippers still on. Does anybody bring their slippers to a hotel? Because I think the floor is disgusting. Denim jacket, fanny, Nike, air masks. Dear competitor, clearly made that transition to bikini because I am not a figure competitor. Um, and I've been competing, you know, ever since. And mainly what I do now is head coach team of a fit. You guys, I'm back to the room. I am, I've eaten. I've answered a couple emails and just kind of got rejuvenated so to speak after sitting for so long um which I do sit for so long for my job as a coach but I did feel a little bit more <laughs> confined to sit for longer than I normally do 
So, and I normally don't really train on Saturdays right now because I am like trying to observe my four days a week of strength training with my one day of functional training. Normally I would do functional training on Saturday. I still have my functional training to complete with my Audacious Athlete Phase 5, so I'm gonna definitely do that today in the gym, but I'm also just going to do a light shoulder and arm workout just to kind of get some blood flow going. Um, I did cardio and I think that helped with my antsiness in my lower body uh, today, but, and it also helped with alleviate some of the soreness that I was having in my lower body from training legs yesterday. So I'm about to head over to Exist Fitness, which is just the gym down the street from the hotel. It's a great gym. I went there even two years ago that I went to that gym. But anyways, um, so yeah, so all the speakers today um, were awesome. But there wasn't really like some great infographics or anything like that that they produced that I felt like would be sharing. I felt like a lot of what they shared was some of their own knowledge and expertise that I didn't kind of want to give a what give their presentation away, so to speak. Um, so they do ask that we do keep a little bit of our social media presence uh, limited while we're there just because we did pay to be there. They do pay the speakers to be there as well. There is a Facebook Live Q&A that they did that there might be available on the Physique Summit Facebook page. You might be able to watch for the Q&A panel. And tomorrow, Jason Theobald, which are both of Lauren Conlon was my posing coach this past uh, year and then and become a good friend and then Jason Theobald is my coach. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow's presentations the most. But we're gonna go ahead and head out to the gym. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I do with my bandana because I know I've got a ton of questions and it just came to my mind. I was like, hey, I've got a couple minutes. I wanna kill some time. Continue to kind of let my mind like kind of get ready to work out, let my food digest a little bit um, and show you guys how I tie my bandana. So we're gonna go at this in reverse. <laughs> All right, so you get your bandana and you wanna get it into a triangle. It's here, you bring it here. And then you need to make it into kind of as thin or as thick as you want it to be. I'm kind of a middle ground kind of gal and I like it to be like really only about a quarter inch thick. So I take from the tail, bring it up to the center and then I fold it into itself kind of like a hamburger. This one's freshly washed, so it's actually thicker and like less pliable. Once you've worn it a couple times, it is a little bit more pliable and I do wash it pretty frequently, but I like when it gets kind of worn in. So then I start from the back, bring it to the forward, forward of my head, and that's where I tie it in a double knot. So one knot, two knots, and make sure you have cute little like tails here. So you can kind of see cute little tails right there. And then I always cover my ears. I'm somebody who has to cover my ears when I wear headbands. And I always turn it a little bit to the side, just like so. But yes, I'm an ears cover kind of gal. Some people don't like their ears covered, but I definitely appreciate it. This is uh, my Tupac circa 90s hip hop look that I love. It also is the most comfortable headband in my opinion because I can tighten it as I need it. And I just find that it is cuter than traditional headbands that make my head look really like flat right here. It gives it some dimension. I feel like you've gotta have some like top pony bun situation going on to give it that life that it really needs. And I know it's hard to tell because I have black hair, <laughs> so sorry. The woes of doing hair tutorial things where you have black hair. Okay, let's go work out. All right, welcome to my functional training plus arm day that I slid in here at the Exist Fitness at the Physique Summit. Now, I had every intention of trying to film, but as I was getting through my mobility warm up here for my shoulders, I noticed that the gym was starting to get really, really busy. And by the time I got to my arm movements, it was so packed and it was just gonna be very, very difficult to film without somebody's assistance. And I just didn't wanna feel comfortable taking my camera and putting on a tripod with so many bodies. So I just went ahead and went into the main, like the little aerobics room and handled my functional training after I did my arm day. So my fifth day of training has traditionally been the functional training for my Audacious Athlete Phase 5 program. We are still running in the beta edition, so this will release in about a month's time. We still have three more weeks of the program. Everyone in my beta community has been loving the functional training, mainly because it is helping work on core stability and overall balance and mechanics of how the body moves without any added body weight. So you'll notice how these movements have to do with a lot of core. These are my plank crab walks. And my overall spinal alignment has improved drastically when doing this movement. And the last movement is the box jumps. And you'll notice that I only have the use of these kind of platforms and there is a little bit of a sway to it and rock back and forth. And these shoes I noticed also created a lot of instability for me, but overall I'm actually getting 
to anywhere from 20 to 24 inches off the ground with my box jumps now. So I've seen a huge improvement just by adding this functional training component to the end of my training week. As I said, we are still in the beta edition of this program, so it is not released to the public yet. It's just being followed by myself and my beta crew, and it will be available shortly, like I said, in about three weeks to four weeks from watching this video. <sighs> that workout. I am not used to training in crowded environments like at all. And I like clamored up and I was like, I am claustrophobic. There is so many people in this room, in this gym. Last year when I was here um, with my client, Casey. Hi Casey, hope you're doing well. She is to be expecting here soon. We came here and I think people were split up between two gyms. It was like one downtown closer to town and then the one here near the hotel. And so everybody split up. So I don't feel like it was as crowded and then the other one was a lot bigger than this one <sighs> so crowded and i'm just like not used to gyms that are overcrowded like i'm very very fortunate in that one i can go to the gym anytime i want to back home based on my schedule and i kind of know when to avoid the dark the like busier times and two the gyms i go to just aren't that crowded back home um in louisville so i'm spoiled and i'm sorry and all you guys got is my functional portion of my training for my audacious athlete phase five program we are in week four of that program once we complete week eight i get testimonials from my crew i get feedback from my crew i see where i need to make some changes going forward before i release it to the public and once i release it to the public it is on my website um audaciousathletes.com slash programs it will be available soon it's a dope program Program. It's four days of strength training followed by one functional day. I love it. It's been what I've been doing for the majority of my off season, which has been amazing because training four days a week, in my opinion, is like really, really substantial. I've seen tremendous growth in my legs. I've been able to decrease growth or decrease potential for growth in my upper body because that was just my strategy going forward. I didn't want to like push a whole lot of PRs in my upper body. So I've been able to micromanage that aspect of my training by only training four days a week and really kind of not focusing a whole lot on my shoulders and my back. But anywho, this is probably going to wrap up my vlogging for day one. I think I'm done talking to the camera. No offense. I'm tired. <laughs> my brain is kind of like fried a little bit um and my body is just like i need to recoup and i'm probably going to grab dinner tonight um with lauren and just catch up with some people that i you know am wanting to catch up with here so signing off see you guys for day two because um it, it's not really being talked about a ton yet um and I, the last thing i want to do is leave here and everyone's like man that guy's a crackpot but i thought i would just tell you a quick story um kind of how I got to here and wanting to be able to do this. Um, let's see how many are you are paying attention right now. So if I ask you a question, would you rather be part of the solution or part of the problem? Which would you choose? And I hope it's the solution. Um, and that's kind of where I was at. Um, I would have what I thought to be perfect preps um, with people and I bring them out, I reverse them, and do all the right things I thought, but we get into prep, and I couldn't, you know, even with the things that John talked about, insulin sensitivity, knowing that, I still couldn't get them to progress. And I wish, like he was saying, I had a lot of those people back, and most of them were women, all because we've all had clients that we can't get to drop. Um, and you know, I'm saying, yeah, tracking is great, you know, I say here, but. People were losing weight way before all this macro tracking. Okay, so I hate when I see out there in, in the in the in you know the social stratosphere. Well, these none of these people are dropping because they just can't track food. Um, you know, it's just it's not the case. And I know it, and I look at it, and I kind of just chuckle, and I say, "Well, you're saying that because you don't know how to fix it." Um, that's just the bottom line. Stop perpetuating that. There are clients. There are people out there. Who are following the plan, but they're stuck hormonally. Okay, the sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system kicks in when you do restorative yoga. Why is that important? I don't know if you've heard of it called this, but it's the rest and digest phase. Okay, and so didn't I tell you before while you're detoxing how important it is to be able to to, to digest your your food minerals and be able to share.
Hi, Pooper. Hi, Pooper. Hi, Pooper. Hi, Pooper. Hi, Pooper. Oh, good boy. Oh, can you smile for the camera? Your brother, where's your brother? This is concerning. Why? Why is there fluff everywhere? What? What? What did y'all tear up? Seriously? I'm calling you out, babe. Close. 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 Hi, Boo Boo. Hi, Pupperoo. Hi, Pupperoo. Hi. Hi, baby. So we are just about to get started. I made it home just in time for my Audacious Athlete Phase 5, Week 5 Facebook Live. It's really important that we do this Facebook Live because we are getting new motor patterns in my strength training community that we are doing together. So it's me and quite a few... Louie like fellow Audacious Athlete crew members that jumped in a couple weeks ago, five weeks ago to be exact, when I uh, released the program for the beta edition launch. So we're doing our first, our, our fifth Facebook Live and this one's gonna be like a big turnout because we are, like I said, getting new motor patterns that I've gotta go over with the crew members, answer any questions they have, congratulate anybody on some PRs that they got. And uh, yeah, so I rushed home from the Physique Summit. I actually ended up having to leave early. Um, Jason, my personal coach, had not actually finished his entire chat before I had to get on the road, but I had to get here with enough time to be here for my crew members. So, you know, you gotta prioritize things a little bit, but um, the Physique Summit was amazing. I actually won tickets to next year's event. So that'll be my fourth year in a row attending the event. Get uh, eight cre credit hours for my CEUs for doing it. And of course, it's a great networking event. Great weekend to hang out with other bodybuilding coaches and talk shop. John Gorman talked about a little bit about blood sugar regulation and testing prior to jumping into a dieting phase. And then Lauren Conlon did advanced strategies in physique diets. And then Jason wrapped up how to analyze blood work with your physique athletes and help them either reach more normal or optimal levels, which is exactly what he had done for me through my whole entire time that I've been on his roster, which is about uh, this August, it will be two, no, this August, it was two years. Bless you. Bless you. Um, so yeah, so I've got to hop on this Facebook Live, but thank you guys so much for watching this entire vlog on my Physique Summit and travels to St. Louis. And if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I probably have food in my teeth. Oh, no, we're good. <laughs>